Hey guys, EVP Man here with Tablets for Me. And I've been getting a couple requests from folks on uh, having problems with their iPads. Uh, either the iPad has been disabled or their iPad, they forgot their password. And they want to know what do you do and how can you reset it. In this video, I'll show you how to do that. So now the situations vary from person to person as to what happened with their iPad. In some cases, it's a child has changed the password and they don't know it. You may have someone who is a senior who has an iPad, forgot their password. And whatever may be the situation, um, if your password gets disabled or your password is forgotten to log in when you connect it to uh, you know, your iTunes, you may run into a situation where it requires your PIN code and you don't know it and you don't have Touch ID. So this is what you have to do. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn off our iPad. So this is an iPad that we're uh, going to that we just forgot the password. So if I go to it, I'm putting in a password and it's basically not it's not letting me in. So uh, what you want to do first is turn off the iPad. Now you don't want to turn it off like this because this is the first mistake many people make. What you want to do is press and hold the power button and wait for the slider to come up. So here you see the slider. Now the slider has come up and I've turned it off. Now it's physically off. Now the next thing you'll want to do is get iTunes. Uh, so I have on my MacBook Pro, I have iTunes here. It's already loaded. And I'm going to use um, Apple's proprietary connect cable connector to connect to the iPad. So the next thing you're going to do is the iPad is off, right? Uh, we're going to press and hold uh, this button here, the center button, while we connect the cable. So what we're going to do just switch the iPad around, press and hold the home button, and plug in the iPad. Now make sure that you have iP the iTunes program is um, up and in front. Now what you'll notice is a couple things will happen. You notice this um, iTunes, let's make sure we get close to that, which says iTunes. Now you can actually restore the iPad and actually reset it. So I'm going to put this to the side so we can see what's going on with iTunes. So you notice right here it says that there was a problem with your iPad and you have a couple options. You can update or you can restore. So what I'm going to do is uh, choose one of these options. We're going to choose restore. Now keep in mind that if your iPad, uh, basically you you if you have registered it with iCloud, you're going to need your iCloud password. Uh, but you know, it's very easy to reset an iCloud password. Uh, but once again, this will reset the iPad so that you can have access to it. So we're going to go ahead and hit restore. And you have the option to restore and update. In this case, this iPad hasn't been updated, so I'm going to choose that. Okay. And now what will happen in a couple seconds, you're not going to see that happen immediately, but what will happen is your iPad is going to go through um, an update process if there is an update required, and you'll see it go through the boot mode. So what we're going to do is we're just going to come off camera, wait for this thing to update. It'll take, uh, varying on the iPad on your network connection, um, a couple minutes for it to take place, but you can see now that it's starting to boot up. And this, again, is going to help you get out of disabled iPad modes iPads that you've forgotten the password, um, unfortunately you will lose all your data but you will have access to the iPad again which is a big plus because otherwise it's just going to be a big paperweight. Now while the iPad is going through the process of updating itself, one of the things I just wanted to mention, if you do find that when you plug in the cable that it just boots up and you notice that it's going through a progress bar here. So this progress bar is saying that it's um, restoring the software on the iPad back to uh, factory settings. If you find that when you plugged it in that it came back to the password page and didn't go through this process, all you got to do is do the same thing. Power it down, turn it off, make sure you turn it off, and then make sure you're firmly holding onto this button when you connect it, right? So, you know, I like to use two hands, one hand here to hold, and then the other one to plug in when you're doing it. Once you do that, the, uh, the update would happen. Again, it may take a couple tries. So now your iPad should be back to the uh, factory uh, settings or factory new settings. All you have to do is swipe. You're going to go through and set up your iPad if as, as if it was brand new. You'll choose the language that's appropriate to your use case, and you should be able to use your iPad. So I hope this helps those of you who are asking questions on how to reset an iPad, especially if you've forgotten your uh, password or your Touch ID doesn't work. If you have any further comments or questions, leave it on the YouTube channel below. And as always, thanks for asking the question, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.